and we hit an obstacle it won't change but if we hit two now our walking adjust based on our actual velocity so if we are sliding off an obstacle we will not see foot sliding and if we are stopped by an obstacle we'll also not uh, experience any foot sliding so this is acting as expected out of good animation system Hello and welcome to the next episode of uh, Blueprint Tutorials. We'll be working with AGR Pro like we did before, but now we're going to work with a new package called uh, Rifle Pro. It's the mockup online studio. Uh, so I already installed it to the AGR Tutorials uh, uh, project. So what we got right now is just this character running on Cobalt Animus Pro, which can strafe walk and change direction do all that stuff and we're going to add rifle poses to this character so first thing first is that we need to retarget all the animations and want to uh, make sure that all the animations are running just on one skeleton so in here we got a mesh and we got a pistol rifle and mannequin himself and the mannequin himself he's just uh, i think slightly uh, modified but what is very important, like he, he's not really using those uh, extra bones, but he is using the IK bones, which is very important for me. And already has a lot of setup done for the uh, sockets that you would normally have to do uh, by hand. So we do not want to get rid of this mannequin. We want to actually use this mannequin. So we're going to go here, go into characters, mannequin, character mesh. And we're going to delete this one and pick this one as the new one. So let's delete this one and say uh, for mannequin skeleton rifle zero one character magia. Yeah, it's this one. So replace references, okay? And save everything. Okay, and let's now right click on the content and say fix up redirection in folders. Okay, so once everything is saved, we can safely reopen the mesh that we're using right now. And we can check, uh, just use show. Oh, we see the bones, and the IK bones are in position as they should be. And if we hit play, nothing changed, animations placed as they did, and the mannequin that we're using, it didn't really change at all. So everything is fine. Okay, let's add new poses to the animation, and uh, let's start working with the rifle animation pack. So let's start with uh, adding a base uh, graph. So let's go here, let's open our character. <clears throat> we might need this guy we definitely need his animation graph mm -hmm. okay and we could we could get working from here but we're going to do something different we're going to take all this and save it in a separate graph. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here, to our blueprints, and we're going to make a new um, animation blueprint, which is just an um, animation instance. And it will be the UE4 mannequin skeleton. We'll just call it abp underscore uh, locomotion pro underscore base it will be this one let's open it and what we want to do is just cut everything paste it here and try to build and we have some errors so we need this 
as a variable, we need this as a variable, we can try to compile and now we can do this as a variable, this as a variable, and this, and this, and this. Okay, more. And this. Okay, that's everything. So that's all the variables that we need. We want them all to be instance editable. Just save it. And what we're going to do here now that we cut all that functionality. Uh, we're going to say that we need a linked anim graph and this linked anim graph is our ABP locomotion pro base and we're going to save cache pose as locomotion base just like that and we can just use locomotion base here. So in here, we can just expose everything and we can just push the variables that we have already. So normalize formal, right? And now we have end state. States idle, and we have right front here, and we have lean, and we have velocity. This is the forward and. Uh, Laptop normalize and aim offset. Final aim offset and in error. Here it is. Okay, if we hit play now, nothing changed. We're still running the same anim graph, but now all the animations are being processed in a subgraph. So everything is being processed here, and this is our unarmed graph. <clears throat> and we want to switch between this graph and a uh, rifle graph. So we're going to need another node like this, uh, which will be just a new animation graph. So just make a new one, animation blueprint for our mannequin. Okay, and we'll call it ABP Rifle Pro Base. Save everything. Okay, and we can start uh, working. So let's do a new folder, animations. Inside those animations, we're going to go and make our custom uh, blend space. So let's make blend space for our skeleton and we'll call it um, rifle pro walking underscore blend space. Okay, we want to scale, but in a second, let's uh, first things first. So horizontal will be direction because we're going to use a directional blend space instead of the one that goes uh, forward, backward, left, right, and uh, idle in the middle, we're going to do something different. And direction goes from minus 180 to 180. Number of grid div uh, dividers, four, that's fine for now. Interpolation time, is uh, zero and we have this this will be velocity and minimum velocity is the velocity of walking so let's say 120 oh but it can be lower than the max so let's set this as 360 and this as 120. i mean what's the movement speed that we have here 360 okay so 360 is our max 
and we do want to have interpolation time of 0.2, which is an average interpolation. And our target weight interpolation is, well, four, as usual. We're going to save this. Oh, and for the velocity, we just need one. Okay, so we now need to find um, rifle pack animations here. Okay, those are jumps, aims. Stands, crouch. Mm, okay, let's do first walk. So B W walk uh, aim. So those are the start and ends. Okay. We got it. So this is in place, walk backwards. So uh, backwards goes from at minus 180 and 180. Oh, but this is crouching, wait. Uh, standing. Okay, backwards. Ah, uh, this is aiming. Let's, let's see, this is Okay, this is a start, this is not a loop. Do they have loop keyword? I think they do. That's great. Okay, crouch, walk, aiming, backward loop. Okay, so this is a loop animation. Backward loop, forward loop. Okay, and I already see that we have uh, a direction so we can now go uh, okay back loop uh, what is this okay so this is back left um, so this will be probably back right yes okay this is forward this is forward left. So this is forward right. Okay. Um. Oh no, this is just, this is left. Okay. And this is right. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so we got walk covered. Let's now do uh, aim loop, but let's not do walk. Let's do jog. Okay. So, uh, backward. I mean, the feet position is a bit off with this animation pack. Except that it's, it's quite okay. Uh, backward, whatever this is. Okay, this is left. So this will be right. <coughs> and yes, it is. Forward. Okay. Forward left. Forward right. Um, this is the circle, so this is just left, and this is just right. Okay. Okay, and those are all in place animations. You can see that the IK bones at some plants are uh, really breaking, but we're going to do something about that as well if we want to. And it will be important later on, so yeah. Okay, so we got this. And let's make this work uh, with our character. So now we're going back to our uh, blueprint and we need a new one, the one that we just created. And let's go back here, blueprints. And 
rifle pro base okay so we'll need to have well at least um, one state machine and this will be standing so inside here we're going to enter a state called idle and inside this idle state we're going to have idle state machine um, Okay, inside idle state machine we got uh, the stop and the idle, but for now it will just contain idle. And this will be an M2, wait, what was, what was the naming convention of this pack? Is Oh, uh, W2, idle aim, uh, stand in place. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one, okay. So this is a very uh, sturdy one. Into idle um, stand. Yeah, so this is root motion. Uh, let's check this idle it's like a bit more shaky than this one. Oh, this is relaxed okay so this one is like this well this one is like this let's do, let's use this one okay so we got our idle And from idle, uh, we are the state moving, and inside this moving state, uh, we would also have a state machine. And inside the state machine, we would have normally a state of start moving, and then we would have the uh, locomotion blend space from it. But we're going to make locomotion immediately. So, oh, oh. We don't need it like this then. Uh, okay, so now we have to go here and drag our new blend space, connect it, and we need to make this a variable and this a variable. So we got those two variables. We're going to expose them because they're not being calculated inside here. And we need to make uh, some transitions. So this will be idle uh, mm -hmm. okay we'll call it two idle doesn't matter um, two idle not um, can I call it idle? I can't. Hmm. Okay, but I can. Oh, okay, because idle is being used as a state. But I can. Is idle. I can do it like this. Okay. And by default, uh, it's true, obviously. Okay. So this is idle, this is not idle, that's the entire state machine, nothing to it, let's connect it to our core. So we need to do a link onion graph again, we need to pick our rifle pro base, and we need to expose everything, and we want to say uh, direction, velocity, this is already a variable called that, and we need b idle, so it's just idle uh, yeah this one and we want to save pose and we're going to call it rifle base okay and now we can use rifle base and we want to switch between those poses based on something right so we already have something for it 
inside variables AGR we got this uh, anim states we got base pose which we can drag here and we can say uh, switch on gameplay tag oh no no no, no. we need to make a, a blend pose Oh, we can't blend by tag, so we're going to have to do something more tricky than that. We're going to make a state machine. We're going to say base poses. And on entry, there is a state which is called entry. And it can be just an idle. Any idle uh, animation doesn't really matter. And from this entry pose, you can go into a conduit and say tag conduit. And can enter transition is always true. But to enter the conduit, we need to say that base pose is a valid tag. And if the tag is not valid, we're going back uh, to our base pose. To, to the just the idle pose and from this conduit if we have a valid tag we want to go into a state called um, mo uh, locomotion pro or a new state called rifle pro and now what we need is say that base pose is equal exactly something so uh, we need um, to add uh, proper gameplay tags to our table that we already uh, added and by the way if you have this table the way to do it is just to make uh, i think it was in my skill use data table and the row structure is gameplay tag table row not restricted gameplay tag table row. that's a different thing so gameplay tag table row you just add gameplay tags then you go into file and well no into edit uh, project settings inside project settings you have gameplay tags and here you have data tables that contain tags and any tags you add to any of those data tables will be connected to the project itself so we're just going to add here a uh, new post which will be animation dot base dot uh, locomotion pro and we're going to duplicate it and rename this one to rifle pro so we got those two and they're in the same naming convention as animation base and all those other poses So we can go back here uh, and we can go back to our core and now we can pick a base rifle pro can enter transition you can now copy it go back here and if it is not this anymore then go back and then we can go back here and change this to locomotion pro copy it again plug it in from here go back here and say not and now we'll be able to switch our poses based by gameplay tag so we'll enter here and if we have any pose picked it will just go into this pose immediately so this state machine will save catch pose and we'll call it um, base pose and to have any poses really we just need to get this go into locomotion pro paste it here connect go back here cut this go back here rifle pro, pro paste connect here and we no longer need this and this and we don't need this we just need uh, cache base pose that's it so now if we compile this is running this this is running this base pose state machine it goes into idle but if we have a base pose picked as uh, something valid it should change poses 
So if we go into our mockup character, now if we go into AGR Anim Master, and if we go into base pose, if we don't pick anything and we hit play, our character will not be animating, he will be just idling. But if we pick um, Locomotion Pro, so a pose that we are already using, we can see he's running as should. And if we change this into Rifle Pro, we can compile, play, and you can see that he is running in the rifle pose. And if I hold right mouse button, he will start strafe walking uh, accordingly. He doesn't have a offset, he doesn't have turn in place, but he is already running um, animations properly. Okay. So, uh, in order to manage this, you can just set it as default to this Locomotion Pro. And if you want to change poses uh, by any input, so um, let's say on an input of 1 and input of 2, I want our HR Animaster component to call um, setup base pose. And it will just set up base pose as Locomotion Pro or the rifle. Okay, and connect this one. And we're not check um, we're not changing any other settings, just this. If we hit play, now we are animating like this. And if I hit two, we are switching to rifle pose. If I hit one again, we are back to being uh, unarmed and two, and we are in the rifle box. Okay, so this is like the basics of how we can switch poses uh, by using gameplay tags, and also how to set up um, blend space, which is a directional blend space, and it's using the uh, calculated direction of movement. So why do we do it like this? Why do we uh, set up blend space that is directional and start, uh, instead of blend space <clears throat> that we were already using here. So this, uh, if you go into very slow motion, you can see that this is not a very believable walking animation. It looks a lot worse than an animation that is slowed down, something that is blend between idle and walking, because uh, it doesn't really uh, give you well sense of the actual velocity of the character, and it just looks really strange so if we go into our character and we'll for example change our move speed to something ridiculously small like 120 if we hit play and now we are walking you can see that this walking it's it's not ideal to say the least and we got terrible uh, foot sliding as well right but if I hit 2, this is where the directional uh, blend spaces shine. So now it is just running walk animation uh, at the speed that it was recorded for and intended. So if we go into our blend space and we hit scaling by Y axis, so the velocity. And now if we hit play and we hit 2. You can see that his animation scales and he's acting a bit crazy but he has no foot sliding whatsoever this is like how the animation is uh, running accordingly to the velocity but if we slow down the character if we go here and we go back into max walk speed 120 So now this is directional walking and we hit an obstacle, it won't change. But if we hit two, now our walking adjust based on our actual velocity. So if we are sliding off an obstacle, we will not see foot sliding. And if we are stopped by an obstacle, we'll also not uh, experience any foot sliding. So this is acting as expected out of good animation system. That's why we are using directional blend spaces.